Hi. Today we're going to do a salmon dish. A friend of mine, Harry, asked me to do some salmon, so here's your salmon, Harry. Good luck. These are two beautiful pieces of salmon I got from our fishmonger, Hampstead Seafood in Hampstead. They do nice, gorgeous stuff. However, you got to look because they cut these, but the scales are still on. Now, what I want to show you today is how to get some nice, crispy skin, but these little cheeky guys didn't scale it for me, so you got to keep an eye out for that, all right? Because you can't eat the scales. You can eat the skin. You know, like I told you, if you want to do things right, do things right. So again, this is really nice, very, very fresh, and it's best to go to a proper fishmonger and get your stuff because, you know, the things that you find at Tesco and things like that are really, you know, it shouldn't smell. There's no smell to fish when it's fresh. Absolutely no smell. So if you walk by a fishmonger and it smells, you're in the wrong place. And nobody believes that, but go to Hampstead Seafood. There's no smells there. It's because all their stuff is super fresh and their clientele helps them keep it fresh. All right, so I scored it. Two lines down here, it helps to break up the skin a little bit and make it crispy. So that's what I'm trying to show you today, Harry. Crispy skin, nice and tasty, light vegetables, and a nice sauce. Okay. So I've got a neutral oil, a little bit. This is the smallest pan I'm going to show you. You can do for two people in that little pan. Salt your skin, light salting all over before you cook it, okay? Okay, so don't be afraid of the heat. So I'm not going to turn it at all. That's the beauty of these pans. You go from the heat to the oven. So I'm going to get my, my skin started crispy here. And then I'm going to throw it in the oven. And it's going to keep crisping up in there. In the oven, the top obviously is the hottest part of your oven. So let's put it on the top shelf. Next, I want to show you these courgettes. Um, we got the yellow ones and the green ones. This is a mandolin, extremely dangerous piece of equipment. And I, you know, it does such nice stuff to get all these things cut so lightly. But, wow, it's so dangerous. The worst cut I've ever had is from here. So you've got a, a, a guard that you can use. Or if not, you just keep your fingers up, keep it on your palm, and you just go down like that. But you see how it slips or something like that? That's when you get cut. And don't ever put it in your washing up area. So what I'm going to do with these is just going to wilt them lightly in a little bit of oil. A bit of salt to help them break down. OK, remember my timer so I don't forget anything. That salmon's going to be about probably about 10 minutes. I'm going to put six on here so we check it. I'm going to show you a nice little sauce. I do everything in these pans as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to show you a super easy beurre blanc a la minute, but this is like a cheater's beurre blanc, but it works really well. Bit of cream, it's just enough to hold your stuff together. And then you want lemon zest, you've got your zester. Let's have a look at that salmon. Looking good. Wow. All right, see it's left off a lot of oil. There's still a little resistance there. But by the time we're ready to cook, unless you really want it well cooked, then I would just leave it myself for a moment. So you see the courgette, I'm just wilting them gently because they're so thin they're going to cook. I didn't put any water in, but I kept my flame quite low. And I pulled them all apart. Okay, beurre blanc a la minute, salt. Back to back. Lemon juice. Need some fire. Okay, so this is what you want. You want that cream completely cooked out. So if you throw your butter in now, this is a bit too hot. So let this cool down a little bit. And you need cold butter. Okay, now remember I was telling you about 
getting stuff moving. Don't let it sit there because I'm going to lose my crispy skin if I let it sit in that oil. So I'm moving it over to another pan. But basically, if you just serve it, you're in business. Serve those courgettes. Okay, so this is your butter sauce. So once you throw your cold butter in there, just move it around. And that's about it. Huh? Now you don't want to let this sit in the pan because you see it's ready. So serve it up, please. I'm just going to turn it around here. I'm going to just put it on the plate, basically. You're going to find your sauce. So don't forget, get this fish out of the pan as quickly as you can. Okay, so I just roasted up some cherry tomato for a bit of color and a bit of acidity. And that was so easy. Okay. The main thing you want to do is cook your fish and serve it, okay? All right, Harry, here's your salmon. It's got to be tasty. I'm not going to eat too much skin because I'm a girl. We don't eat skin. But a bit of this tomato should be nice and tasty. Because this sauce is quite rich, but you don't need so much of it. But did you see it? Was that too fast? You know, it was so quick. You won't believe things are so easy. Yeah. That's great. You're going to like this. And this sauce is really my favorite thing for fish. You can season it with any herb you want. Just make sure you put it in at the right time. A bit of lemon zest or lime or ginger or anything, anything, anything. I'll show you more later, but that's the base. And you can do it like that for 10 second sauce. As long as you don't break it, you've got to get it moving. Put your butter in, whisk your butter in and serve it up, okay?